Hey guys and welcome. My name is Terry White and it's my pleasure to take you through one of my favorite new travel apps. And it's not really a travel app for travel, but it's certainly useful for people that do travel with MacBooks and iOS devices. So as you might imagine, I travel with my MacBook Pro just about every time on every trip. And just about on every trip, I'm also carrying my iPad and iPhone. Well, when I'm in the hotel, or when I'm on a plane, the iPad's great. I use it to watch movies, I use it to run mobile apps, read magazines, read books, so forth and so on. But once I get to the hotel room, chances are I'm just going to go ahead and pull out my MacBook Pro and do all my day-to-day, -day, you know, I'll call it nine to five work. Well, when I'm doing that work, the iPad's kind of just sitting there. It's not really doing anything. It's, it's normally not even on because I'm working on the on the Mac. At home, when I'm working on the Mac, I've got the 15 inch display, I've got a 4K display, and I've got a uh, Wacom Cintiq display. So I'm working on three displays total. But when I travel, of course, I'm not gonna lug all those displays with me. So what I can do is with an app called Duet, I'm gonna go ahead and launch it here. Once I launch Duet, on the iPad, so it's an iOS app that you can download from the App Store. You can also, of course, you're gonna to need to download the component app that goes with your MacBook Pro and install that. So there's a Mac app to install and an iOS app to install. Once you've got them both installed, then you notice I've got the lightning cable connected to the iPad. And what I can do now is take the other end of that lightning cable, which I've just got laying here, and when I, as soon as I plug it into the Mac via the USB port, that's when all the action happens. That's when the magic happens, as they say. So let's plug it in. The Mac uh, kind of recognizes that there's a second display connected. I can also cancel the import that it's trying to do from the iPad. And you'll notice that now the, uh, the iPad has become my second display. As a matter of fact, if I hide Lightroom for a second and hide Photoshop for a second, you'll notice that I've got the two displays. Even my dock is showing now on the iPad. Uh, so if I want to drag items between the two windows, as you would with any other two displays, I can, and it's doing it in real time. I can also, of course, drag folders, but more importantly, the reason I would do this is to either A, have one app open on the Mac, have another app open on the second display, which is the iPad, so I can see them both at the same time, or in cases where apps can take advantage of multiple displays, for example, let's uh, go to Lightroom, and in Lightroom's case, I can now go up to the window menu, and I can come down to second display, and I can choose show, and it will show the second display, which I've got it set to loop view, on the iPad. So if I uh, select a different photo, that different photo shows up on the grid view on the, on the main display and loop view on the second display. And what's cool about it is because the, the iPad is a touch screen, it actually uses it as a touch display for your Mac. So I can uh, tap, I can move my mouse around, I can zoom in in different parts of this photo as if I were clicking the mouse on that screen. And of course, I can move the mouse between the two displays and I can actually click with the mouse as well or the trackpad. So uh, that's great when you're using an app like Lightroom that can handle two displays, but let's hide Lightroom for a second and let's go to an app like Photoshop. Well, I can have Photoshop open on the main display and the panels can be torn off and then moved over to the second display. So the iPad, you know, this is a traditional way people have always worked with Photoshop and second displays. They have as much real estate on their main display for the image, and then they put all the panels and things that they want to use on the other display. And for example, if I want, I could even bring up Lightroom again, and I'm going to turn off the second display for a second. Let's turn that off, and I'll pull Lightroom over on this side, and of course we'll... Um, fit it to that window. And now I've got Photoshop on the left and Lightroom on, or Photoshop on the left and Lightroom on the right. 
So I can go ahead and move those panels back over so they're not covering up Lightroom. And this would be the typical workflow for working with uh, two apps at the same time, two Macintosh applications. So that's Duet, allowing me to use my iOS device as a second display. Now, some of you will ask, well, can this be done with the iPhone? It sure can. It's, it will work on your iPhone as well as your iPad. But I, I would have to question how much use are you going to get out of your iPhone being a second display just because it's so much smaller uh, of a screen. But maybe an iPhone 6 Plus, um, you could find it useful. And there are people that even make clips that will clip your iPhone onto the side so you can use, use it with Duet and have it be a second display that way. But for me, the beauty of this is using the iPad. It would just be sitting here anyway. And now I can actually use that in a travel situation as my second display, especially like in the hotel room that I'm working on today. So that's Duet. I'll have links for it uh, in the description of this uh, video for you can so that you can download the app, as well as in my blog, either at terrywhite.com or actually it'll probably be on bestappsite.com. So with that, take care, and this is Duet, and this is Terry live in Singapore. So I'm going to sign out now and get some work done. Take care.